Yeah, for Eli, that's something he has to work on, I'm sure, in this offseason is on that slider. Or maybe even get a curveball. But he's uh, he's done a nice job. He's really when you go out there when he first started after two times through the lineup that's a tough spot. He went through one time through second time through he was getting hit around but he's been able to get through for third time in a number of starts now. Top that foul. And the thing you like about him is he throws strikes on the road at he's got now has 30 strikeouts and only two walks. And this is start number five on the road. And a fastball fouled back by Polanco. Back to back walk offs in the last two nights. has been on a roll since July 1st batting 297 oh. and along with that seven doubles and a dozen homers in 40 games played. Yeah this, he's starting to lock it in a little bit that power numbers have gone up for him. He's having a really good at bat here falling off some good pitches for Morgan to stay alive and it's, that's going to help him in his next at bat or two. That's roped foul. He's on everything. Well, the other thing, too, is you know, you look at Polanco and with the absence of Nelson Cruz and the, the moves they've made, he's become a, a guy they're counting on to produce oh, runs now. Yes. Before he was a complimentary piece and a good one. Oh, two in the dirt. And I, I imagine he's the type of hitter who won't change who he is based on where he bats in the order anyway. I agree. Hey, he's a, he's a solid baseball player. Morgan trying to set him down. One, two, three. That. He's, he's going to need at least 10 pitches to get Polanco. Everything in sight, he's fallen off. I mean, he's tried the slider, he's tried a curveball, change ups, fastball. I read a story earlier today about a long time ago. There was a guy for the Reds, and uh, he was facing this guy for the Phillies, I think, and he fouled off nine or 10 pitches in a row, and he went up and punched him. <laughs> That's one way to get yeah. his attention. <laughs> Pop back out of place and put the ball in play already. That's his eighth foul ball in this at bat. And it's still just one two. But he's not uh, going out of that zone to, to swing at anything is he. Now the one ball that was in the dirt. Everything else has been. Right there close enough. Got it all covered, man. This is scary. That looked like a change up there that he just tops, stays alive. A 12 pitch at bat. It's almost like, hey, hit it at somebody, put it in fair territory. Oh, 
unbelievable. I mean, we've had guys a couple of days ago uh, in Detroit. Tristan McKenzie had eight, nine pitch innings. Yeah. This is a 13, now 14 pitch at bat yeah. coming up here. Maybe walk him intentionally, go to the next guy. So he saves just, your arm, he'll save you another inning. I'd be like, <laughs> hey, just put the four up. Let's, let's go. Next. <laughs> Try it. Next. Try somebody else. Look at that. Takes a good change up away. He's seeing everything so well here. What an at bat. will be the 15th pitch and it's not over yet. Wow. First inning you get the uh, two quick outs and the next thing you know you got a 15 16 pitch at bat. Incredible. And he's thrown everything he has. Sixteen pitches, and he oh. finally got one by him. What an at bat for Polanco! Nice job by Morgan. Sets him down. One, two, three.